What's up guys? Let me introduce my workout partners for today. You got Shy. There she is. Hello Shy Shy. You got Ashley. And you got Bear. Okay. Today's workout. You've got double unders and kettlebell swings. So you're going to start with 60 double unders, 50 kettlebell swings. These are American style with a heavy bell. Then you're going to jump into 40 double unders, 30 kettlebell swings, 20 double unders, 10 kettlebell swings. Um, so this is going to be a pretty fast workout, but a couple of substitutions for you guys. Uh, if you've got really, really good single unders, uh, but you're still struggling to get those doubles, then take this opportunity and make a couple attempts at your doubles. Uh, maybe four or five attempts before you uh, move on and start going into singles or some other version of the doubles. Uh, some other alternatives for the doubles, you can bound up onto a stair, maybe four inches high or so. Uh, that's a pretty good substitute. If you don't have anything that you can bound up on, you can just bound up without a rope. Um, I've got a couple of videos out there that kind of show each of those. Um, for the kettlebell swings, you can obviously scale the rep number based off of the, the size of bell that you have. Uh, if you've only got a medium, um, then you can you can scale those reps up and do 70, 50, 30 for a medium kettlebell swing. Obviously for the heavy, then stay with the, uh, the 50, 30, 10. And make sure you're getting vertical at the top of that kettlebell swing um, with the, the arms completely overhead. Uh, that's the biggest challenge that I see with these American style is people tend to sh shorten that, that movement a bit and they leave that bell kind of hanging out in front of them. So make sure you're getting under it. Uh, if you don't have a kettlebell, then a couple of things that you can do if you've got uh, a heavy dumbbell, you can do the same rep scheme with dumbbell snatches. Um, or if you've got a medium dumbbell, then you can do uh, that 70, 50, 30 rep scheme still with the dumbbell snatches, uh, but at that medium weight. Uh, in terms of strategy here, what I did was I'm fairly decent at the double unders and I, and I got kind of lucky in this one and that I'd managed to do all of my double unders unbroken in this one. So I knew I was going to be able to get through the double unders pretty fast. I also knew that I was going to struggle with the kettlebell swings. I used a, a 73 pounder, which is heavy for me, actually probably really heavy for me. Um, but, and I knew I was going to suffer through it. So I broke those reps down into sets of five from the very beginning. Um, really trying to conserve, especially on that first set of 50, trying to conserve my energy for those later later sets. And even with that, I still slowed down uh, moving into the back half of the workout. And keep in mind that first round here is, is over 50% of the workout. Uh, so <clears throat> keep that in mind for your pacing. So choose wisely on the kettlebell swings um, and take this opportunity to really work on your double unders and get those guys uh, perfected. If you got any questions, shoot me a note. I'm on Facebook occasionally.